If you're wondering about the best way to exfoliate and rejuvenate your skin, dry brushing is an option that offers many benefits. But before you grab a brush and start going to town on your skin, it's important to know how to do it correctly and which areas should be avoided during the process. If you're not sure what dry brushing your skin is, it's a body massage with a dry, stiff bristled brush. The ancient practice is rooted in Ayurveda. Methodology, what brush should I use to dry brush? To get the benefits of dry brushing you'll want to use a natural stiff bristled bath or shower brush, preferably one with a long handle. The long handle is helpful for tough to reach areas like your back. Some bristles are stiffer than others, and it depends on your skin's sensitivity and preference. I personally prefer a gentler, less stiff brush on my skin. When should I dry brush? The best time to dry brush is just before a shower. Then you can wash off any dead skin cells and flaky skin. Be sure to apply oil or lotion afterward to put moisture back into your skin. How do I dry brush my skin? 1. Make sure your skin and brush is completely dry for the best results. You want your strokes to be firm enough to effectively help with exfoliation, circulation, and drainage, but not abrasive to your skin. Move in the direction towards your heart, starting from the bottom. Using a natural bristled brush, start from the feet or ankles and work your way upward in long, fluid strokes on limbs. Move the brush in a circular motion on your torso and back. Since this process can be a little too much for sensitive areas like the abdomen, breasts and neck, lighten up the pressure as needed. 7. A few overlapping swipes per area is all you need. If you go over the same area for too long, you can cause irritation. For younger skin, dry brush weekly, but no more than twice a week, and shower immediately afterward. 8. For seniors, I recommend trying weekly, every two weeks, or once a month is beneficial. If you build up a tolerance to it successfully, then you can transition to once a week. I dry brush every other week. Dry brushing your body can offer several benefits for your skin and overall well-being. As with all methods of exfoliating, dry brushing gets rid of dirt and oil as well as dead skin cells. The result is increased cell turnover and more radiant, smooth skin. Detoxifying the skin, the mechanical action of dry brushing is excellent for exfoliating rough, dry skin. Dry brushing unclogs pores in the exfoliation process. It also helps detoxify your skin by increasing blood circulation and promoting L-lymph node flow, drainage. Also, by unclogging pores, it's easier for the body to sweat and eliminate toxins in your system. Stimulating the nervous system, dry brushing can make you feel good since it has the additional benefit of stimulating your nervous system. It can also leave you feeling invigorated like a massage often does. Giving your skin a radiant glow, removing dead skin cells can help make your skin smoother and softer. It can also give your skin a brighter appearance temporarily. Cautions, it's possible to use a dry brush if you have sensitive skin. For dry brushing to be fully effective, the bristles must generally be pretty firm. However, there are degrees of bristle softness you can explore. If you have extremely sensitive skin, you can use a plain, dry washcloth. If you notice redness, swelling or inflammation while brushing, stop right away. Never dry brush over moles, warts or raised bumps among many other things. See your dermatologist if you have questions about what is safe. Do not use a dry brush on skin that is broken. This includes cuts, scrapes, lesions, sores or burned skin, including sunburns. Don't ever brush over areas of infection, redness or general irritation, inflammation, cellulitis or skin cancer. Stop dry brushing if skin becomes irritated or inflamed. If you want to exfoliate your face, use more gentle products and methods that are designed specifically for it. Don't forget to wash your brush with shampoo at least twice a month to get rid of all of that dead skin and buildup. Happy brushing!